Hey guys, Zen here bringing you a top 8 brand new decks to try out in the new Pokemon TCG set, Stellar Crown. And today we'll be sharing each of these deck lists as well as breaking them down to better understand how they operate. Quick shout out to the website Justin Basil for sharing these decks. And without further ado, let's jump right into our first deck, and that's Salazzle. This deck is control heavy, and you see that quite clearly with the new Salazzle card, which forces your opponent to discard a card from their hand whenever they use the move Quick Roast. However, if they use this move on a turn when you evolve into this Pokemon from Salandit, then your opponent discards an additional two cards, meaning three cards for the price of one. Then throw in things like Gothado's ability to disrupt your opponent's strategy by bottom decking a potential Dop deck, or your Luxray V that can also force your opponent to discard a card from their hand after revealing their entire hand, I mean, that's just free real estate at that point, gives you all the control with this deck. We also have more cards that help with this control based milling strategy such as 06 Machinations which forces more discarded cards. So yeah, this deck doesn't provide too much in the way of damage but instead does add a neat element of milling your opponent's cards, if that's your cup of tea of course. Next up is the new Cinderace EX, which is a strong card with a lot of range. More specifically, the move that allows it to target and deal 180 damage to benched Pokemon. That and the fact that this Pokemon has a massive HP, along with cards that help mitigate damage, such as Monkey Dory, really allow your Cinderace to shine. However, if you think the energy requirement for Cinderace is a bit difficult to acquire, not to worry because another new card in this set, being Crispin, lets you pick two energy cards of different types, adding one to your hand and one to a Pokemon really easily, making this strategy something worth looking into. Next up is Hydrapel EX which is actually the first deck I decided to jump back into the TCG with and man was it fun. The strategy is pretty simple. You use your ability to fill up your board with a ton of grass type energy. That and well, the Teal Mask Ogrepun's ability to also act as a draw engine and fill up the board really lends to this deck synergy. You can easily get up to 300 damage by turn 2 if played optimally, which is kind of nuts when you think about it. Alright, alright, now it's time to check out the deck that everyone and their mom is talking about, and that's Galvantula EX, which is also also a Terra Pokemon. Now this thing is pretty hot right now, mainly due to its move that does double damage to all EX and V Pokemon, effectively allowing your Pokemon to one hit KO them, and just draw two prize cards off of it for free. But also its move that acts as a means of control, stopping your opponent from using any item cards from their hand next turn, which is pretty important. Throw in cards like Blissey that help transfer and move energy around, along with the Ace Spec Sparkling Crystal card that reduces the cost of attacks for any Terra Pokemon they are attached to by one means this Galvantula is eaten pretty good this set. Definitely one worth the hype. Next up is Medicham EX, the master of damage counters, if you will. With its move Air Pressure, you can pretty much force any of your opponent's active Pokemon to drop down to at least 50 HP, no matter their base total. This is effectively a really powerful move when you see that the meta has a ton of 300 plus HP Pokemon in the forefront. Throwing things like Brute Bonnet and Radiant Hisuian Sneasler, and this deck might just have the makings of an anti-meta competitor. Now let's check out the one I'm most excited about, and that's Garganical EX. Mainly because I used to pronounce it as Jorgensol, and well, people hated that. <laughs> but yeah, this Pokemon has a neat ability where it's not affected by any special conditions, and its move is not only an offensive one, but also acts as a defensive option as well. So long as your opponent isn't a grass type, that is. Which means this big boy can stick around for quite some time. Throwing the Pokemon tool Rock Chestplate and Jargonsaw, I mean Garganical, might be the tankiest thing in the game. Alright, two more decks to go, and next up is Orthworm EX, a new Pokemon with a really interesting ability which punishes the opponent for trying to win the game. You see, every time the opponent damages Orthworm, even if it gets knocked out, you get to place two damage counters on that Pokemon for each Steel Energy card attached to Orthworm. A solid lead while you set up your backline, in my opinion. Now this is a deck that I am really interested in seeing how it does into the meta, and how players attempt to counter it without putting themselves into a sticky situation. But now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, and that's Terrapagos with so many new cards. 
First up is the Terra Pokemon itself, which has two powerful attacks. The first, which does 30 more damage for each benched Pokemon you have. Now, you'll need to remember that for the second part of this strategy. And the second attack virtually keeps this Pokemon invincible from all kinds of basic Pokemon, except for colorless Pokemon. Now, remember that first attack we were just talking about? Well, this set got a brand new stadium card called Area Zero, which gives players with Terra Pokemon in play a bench size of eight Pokemon, which means if you fill up your bench, your Terrapagos can hit for 240, which is mad. This deck is also running the New Glass Trumpet, which helps you fill up your benched Pokemon with basic energy cards from your discard pile, as well as the new Sparkling Crystal to add even more power to this Terrapagos deck. Deck. And there you have it, those are the 8 new spicy decks sure to be seen on the ladder on Pokemon TCG Live. Let me know what you guys think and which decks you think are going to find a spot in the meta. And if you enjoy these types of TCG breakdown videos, then consider subscribing for more quality content.